Hello everybody, this endgame video is on how to win queen and pawn endgames. Now these are very very tricky, so hopefully you'll uh, go away knowing how to go about winning them. In this position, uh, I've made sure that it's an identical pawn structure, other than the fact that white has an extra pawn on b3. And the tricky part is how to get that pawn all the way to the end of the board to promote. Now, it's much harder than it looks because of black's constant threats of perpetual checks. So, for example, if white were to try and shepherd the pawn with, let's say, queen a3, black could draw with queen e1 check, king g2, queen e3, e4 check, uh, let's say king f1 to stop perpetual, queen h1, king e2, queen e4, king d2, queen d4, king e1, queen e4, king d2, queen d4, king e2, queen e4, king d1, queen f3, for example. So what you might have noticed if we go back is that other than the check along the back rank, when the king goes to g2, the queen can check along the long diagonal here. And that is a key feature of uh, Black's plan, is to put his queen there on one of the central squares, e4 or d5. And if the queen controls them, it's very hard to escape or impossible to escape with the king. So what we want to do as white is stop the queen having the long diagonal to use for checks. So here... I would say the best move is b4, may as well push the pawn if you can, when you have a passed pawn push. Let's say queen d5, seizing the light squared uh, diagonal. But here you could play queen c5, because after queen d1 check, king g2, there aren't any available checks that don't result in the loss of the queen. So queen d3 now and queen c6. So now our queen is on the long diagonal, stopping black's queen from going there. And with this, now it's very easy to win by, just by pushing the pawn up. So let's say queen d4, b5. And here, black doesn't really have any moves. There are no checks, and I can't really see any reasonable way of black stopping the pawn. So, if we just advance a few moves. Now, here, the only chance I really see for white to win comfortably is queen c8. And you may say, ah, oh, no, but that means you've left uh, the long diagonal. True, yeah, but after queen e4, king h3. And... Again, the diagonal from uh, for, uh, to the king is being used by our queen on c8. So there's no queen g4 or queen f5 check. And black doesn't have enough time to run around to f1 or anything like that before we've promoted. So this position here would be resignable for black. All right, well, that concludes the video on queen and pawn endgames. Hopefully uh, you can now d uh, win these sort of positions in your games. Comment, like, or subscribe, or all three, <laughs> hopefully, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.